Hi everyone and welcome in another lecture related to uh, rapid review which is chapter uh, 18. So in this chapter we are going to talk about uh, comparison and contrast and you see there are a couple of things which we will talk about. Uh, the first thing is the similarity and the other thing is the difference. So, yeah, we are not going to focus on um, comparative degree and superlative degree because you have studied them already in other stages of your uh, uh, secondary step school, I think. So, yeah, in this part, we are going to talk about the, uh, first of all, we'll focus on the comparison. When we say comparison is when you have two things, two persons, two groups, two conditions of the same person, which can be compared together. And actually, this requires particular pattern depending on the tool that you are using in uh, expressing your comparison. So first of all, we have the complete sameness when you have two things which have complete sameness. I mean, when I say complete sameness, then they are, which means that they are exactly the same. So the first tool is the same as and the other tool and the other tool is alike so let's see at the difference between these two tools first of all we have uh, my dad's hobbies are the same as his childhood friends hobbies my t-shirt is the same as yours so look at the pattern First of all, you mention the first thing that you want to compare. My dad's hobbies. You're comparing your dad's hobbies, okay? Then the second thing is the verb, and then the tool, which is the same as, and then you are mentioning the other thing that you are comparing to. Like when you are saying, my, uh, my childhood t-shirts, is the same as my adulthood. It's, for example, or my style when I was uh, a teenager is the same as yours when you are uh, an adult, for example. Anyway, so like we said, we have the first thing that you compare, then followed by the verb, the tool, and the other thing. Okay, if we compare it with the other tool, which is alike, so here, all the stuff that, are, that you are comparing would come before the verb. For instance, here you have the things being compared. In, the, in this column, I'm inserting, for example, my father's and mother's desires. I am comparing my father and mother desires here, and I'm placing them in front of the verb are alike. The other one, student's performance are alike our hobbies for example i'm talking to my friend i'm saying our hobbies are alike and we can say uh, people's ambitions in this country are alike so yeah this one differs from the first one and having the stuff that are compared before the verb so this is the complete sameness, when they have the two things which are exactly the same. In the second part, uh, or the second type of uh, sameness or similarity is using like. Look here, we are not using a like, we are using like, okay? And here we've got similarity in many respects. It's not only one thing, but you've got many respects that are similar to. For example, Susan is like Judy. Here, you, there is a possibility of adding uh, is like Judy in her, for example, in her behavior. Mary looks like Isabel. Yani it means that her appearance or her uh, features are similar to Isabel. Children sleep like angels. Here you are, for example, you are focusing the on the stuff which they are similar to. For example, you are assimilating children and their sleep 
two atoms. Okay, let's look at the structure. We have one, the first stuff that you are uh, mentioning, and you have the verb, the second place, the tool, like, and then the other thing which you are comparing to. Okay, if you distinguish it from the next type, this one, when we mention it, it's in many respects. All right. And in the other one, similarity in one respect. So you see here, we've got three types of similarities. The first one is complete sameness. The second one is similarity in many respects. And the third one here is when you are uh, comparing the stuff in one respect. Let's have a look. First of all, we have the tool the same. However, it needs to be followed by a noun. Let's look at the structure. In the first column, you are inserting the things that are being compared, just like the second one uh, when we mentioned uh, about alike. The two things that are you are comparing, and then you have the verb, and then you have the tool followed by the noun. Okay, the examples. Ahmed and Mona are the same height. Ahmed and Mona, you are comparing both Ahmed and Mona, and both of them are before the verb. The verb are, the member here, it's a main verb, it's not an auxiliary. And then it's followed by the word or the tool, the same. And then height, this is the noun. John and Mike, the two things compared. Both, my main verb, the same bike. My tool, the same. And I have the uh, noun bike. Fine. The next tool, look at the first tool, the same, followed by noun. Here we have got the same something as yani the only difference is adding the word as but look how it is going to change the word as is going to be change the structure it's going to change the structure totally for instance in the structure here we've got the the first thing compared and then the verb and then your the same and then the noun and then as and finally you have the other thing so the word as, as if it separated the two things that you are comparing. Yani Sally and Jane, okay, have the same hair. Okay, if I want to use the same tool, uh, the same tool, is, you, you look, if I want to use the first tool, Sally and Jane have the same hair. But as long as I have has here, Sally has the same hair as or hair color as Jane. And then the second example, this book involves the same and then the noun information as the one I bought last week. Okay. And the next one is a comparison degree or it's not a comparison, it's also comparing stuff. So the structure of the next one have as, 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 okay? Between the two as's, you can insert either adjective, you can insert adverb, you can insert many plus noun, for instance. My son does not work as hard as I used to do when I was at his age. Eagles are as fast as cars. So, in this structure, you have the first thing you are comparing. The second position is the verb. The third position, as with the noun, with the adjective, with the adverb. And then the other as, 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 I mean. And then the other thing that you are comparing to. So, these structures, when you would start using them over and over, they just start to be spontaneous in your usage. Fine. So,
Sometimes your similarity, uh, you can modify them with certain expressions in order to show that whether the, your similarity, uh, whether you are suggesting less similarity or you are emphasizing your similarity. So you've got two parts. The first one is when you are suggesting less similarity, you, the modifications that you are using is almost, nearly, about, which means they are not very similar. Look at the example. My garden is nearly as good as Bill's, which means they, it is not that it's not as good as Bill as as Bill. And the modification that I use here is nearly. It helps to show that it's not totally uh, as good as Bill's. Similar, uh, I mean, as well as good as Bill's garden. Okay. In the other case, when you want to emphasize the similarity, you are using the two words just and exactly. So our first sentence, which is my garden is nearly as good as Bill's, let's use the word just. My garden is just as good as Bill's, which means it is exactly or exactly as good as Bill's, which means it is very similar or closely similar and it's being good to Bill's garden. And my other example is my suit is just like yours. Okay? Uh, yeah, my, my suit is just like yours, which means it is very closely similar to yours. If you want to weaken the similarity in this example, you are going to use, we can use one of these uh, tools, for instance, my suit is nearly like yours, which means it's not that close or not that similar to yours. So yeah, you've got either almost nearly and about to lessen the similarity. And on the other hand, if you want to emphasize the similarity, you would use just and exactly. Okay. The second part of this uh, lecture or this presentation it was uh, when you are talking about the statement of difference. Uh, in this part, we don't have that many tools. We've got only differs from and different from. Okay, differs from, you, you see that the two are uh, similar. You are using the same word, but the first one is in the verb condition and then the other one is uh, an adjective. So in the first one my bottle differs from Rachel's. My bottle differs from Rachel's yani differs from Rachel's bottle. And the, in the other case uh, our manager's demands are different from the other companies. By the way, you can say, just like the previous example, are different from the other company's demands, but we don't add them. Hi, Samuha, we call them ellipses when you don't repeat the same word if it were mentioned in the first place. So our managers, let's look at the difference between the two conditions. In the first place, my button differs from you don't need a main verb because differs is the main verb in this sentence. Okay? In the second case, our manager's demands are different. Here we have the main verb are, and different is the adjective follow, that follows the main verb. Whereas differs, it is the main verb in this sentence. Okay? For instance, if we want to give another example, uh, my homework is different from yours, or I can say my homework differs from yours in many aspects. So it's the same sentence. I once use it with differs, and in the other case, I'm using it with different from. Like the similarity, we've got modifications that either emphasize the difference or suggest, suggest less difference. 
if you wanna show if you wanna show that the two the two things that you are comparing are totally different or entirely different, you would use the word quiet, you would use the word very or entirely. You can also use the word totally that I've just mentioned. So my personality is entirely different from my mom's. Again, I didn't say my mom's personality. I don't need to mention personality again. So the word personality is mentioned only in the first place. Okay, my personality is quite different from my mom's personality. Or I can say my personality is totally different from yours. Or my bag is is very different from or uh, quite different from yours. In the other case, when you ha are suggesting less difference, which are not very pretty much different from each other, you are suggesting that there is a slight few differences between the two things. For example, you are saying the British patterns are somewhat Oh, sorry. Somewhat differ from the American ones. Okay? Or you can say a little different uh, from the American ones. So, yeah. You can see that in the first place I'm using the word uh, different from. And in the other example I'm using the word differs from. Okay? And the tools here are somewhat, a little, somehow, these are the tools that you can use in expressing the, uh, the least similarities. Okay, now you are using double comparative structure. Okay, in the double comparative structure, the further we live, the from the compass the earlier we have to get up the, in this structure okay if you want to look at page 315 in your uh, textbook the double comparative structure when we want to express uh, that the degree of one equality or characteristic depends on the degree of another Yani when you are showing that one degree of similarity or a characteristic or something or a quality of something depends on the degree of another. Four. So when we say the further we live from the compass, it means that the distance that you live away from the compass depends on getting up early. Or getting up early depends on your distance of your residence from the campus. So one thing depends on the other. The harder you study, the higher marks you get. Okay? So your marks, your marks that you get here depends on how hard you study. Okay? And in the other case, also, you have two comparative degrees. You've got the smarter and you've got the better. Okay? To get a, bit, a good job, you need to be smart. The be best job or the better job you get the, uh, depends on how smart you are. In the sentence, you say, the smarter you are, the better job you get. Okay? If you look at the structure, you will have the, all of them consist of the the, and then the comparative degree. In the first place, we have the further, the harder, the smarter. Then it is followed by the subject. Okay. And after that, you have the comparative thing. We live, for example. From the compass, this is the comparative thing. And then you have in the third, next place, we have the, with the comparative degree earlier. Again, we have the subject. 
and after that you have the verb and the complement. So this is the structure. You can look at the details of this structure in your book on page 315. I hereby arrive at the end of our presentation. That was a very, I mean, a very uh, simplified version of your chapter because, like I said at the beginning, we don't need to cover the comparative and superlative degree. We focused, in order to recap, we focused on the similarity using like, alike, the same as, and we also used, focused on differences. We talked about different from and different from. Thank you very much and, and go back.